We do believe in miracles. But here's the thing. Talking about, preaching about miracles, I'm guessing also makes some people uncomfortable. Now I'm going to venture a guess to say that the clip you just saw, there might be one or two people here that that clip made feel a little uncomfortable. And that's okay. Because one of my, my, my goals, my, my mission, my ministry here is to stretch your faith. That you too can say, I believe in miracles. But what it also does is it begins to raise some, some questions, like I shared with the kids up front before. A lot of questions. Now, I know I gave the kids a definition of miracles, but here's another definition. So let's begin with this premise about what miracles are. Miracles are when God intervenes and performs the impossible. Let's start there. A miracle is when God intervenes and performs the impossible. Okay, so you just heard the definition of miracle. But let me ask you this. Is every miracle a healing? Is every healing a miracle? Does the miracle have to be a healing? Does a healing have to be a miracle? Let me explain this. Every healing not necessarily is a miracle, and every miracle is not necessarily a healing. For instance, let's say, unfortunately, you break your leg and your bones heal. That's not necessarily a miracle because the doctor sets it, maybe puts pins in it, casts it, and six to eight weeks, you're healed. Not necessarily a miracle. Let's take the first miracle of Jesus, turning the water into wine at the wedding of Cana. There's no healing involved. So yes, a healing can be a miracle. And yes, a miracle can be a healing, but they also can be two separate entities, a healing and a miracle. And in Acts chapter 8, verse 20, we hear these words, but Peter said to him, may your silver perish with you because you thought you could obtain the gift of God with money. Now, what's the backstory there? Well, Peter had to rebuke a former sorcerer named Simon, who wanted to buy the power of God so that he could use it for his own glory. Miracles that come from God always bring glory to God or to confirm his word. 